promising to increase testosterone levels in men. But today, the FDA issued a new warning about the risk of life-threatening side effects from these drugs. We get more on it tonight from our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyder. But with less energy, moodiness, and a low sex drive, I had to do something. A blood test showed it was low testosterone, not age. I have low testosterone. There, I said it. The commercials for testosterone treatment promise men renewed vitality. It's a multi-billion dollar business and growing. In 2013, doctors wrote seven and a half million prescriptions for testosterone, up from about four million in 2009. While treatment for abnormally low testosterone levels is warranted in some men, it's not without risk. And now, a new warning from the Food and Drug Administration about increased risk of life-threatening blood clots called deep vein thrombosis. And critics say that's not enough. We believe today's action by the FDA was insufficient, and they've been reckless in not uh, having stronger warnings for other cardiovascular events like heart attacks. Others argue that some doctors are too quick to prescribe treatment. I don't really want to settle on testosterone as the problem until I've really looked at other aspects and made sure. I want to look at his diet. I want to look at his exercise pattern. I want to look at his sleep patterns. Today we'll uh, give him 140 on the left side. 66-year-old Dr. Bill Riley is the medical director of Low T Centers, a growing chain of 49 clinics around the country. He's also a patient. To me, the benefits far outweigh the risk. Once I got on testosterone, boy, it was just back like I was in college. Eli Lilly, maker of Axeron, said it would update its label with the new warning and that physicians should, quote, test testosterone levels prior to and during therapy. In the meantime, Bill Riley says testosterone has changed his life. It's given my life back to me. You can age, but you don't want to grow old as you age. Unlike hormone replacement therapy that's been used by women for treating menopause, there isn't enough long-term data on the real risks of testosterone, and that, Brian, is going to be the big challenge going forward, proving that this is safe. Dr. Nancy Snyderman, as always.